welcome to our laundry room. And that has evolved and turned into a kind of a private little shrine or little temple or grotto uh, that um, belongs to Mr. Robert Bolander here in Topanga Canyon. <laughs> This piece, inspired by the umbilical cord, grew into embodying many female forms. Um, kind of like a sunbeam that um, stretches everywhere. Well, my, my rock sculpture grows day by day. And right now, I, it probably there's uh, about two million rocks involved <laughs> in the creation of this crazy thing. But it's really not so crazy. This is the thing I do right after the cement has been put on the rebar and I have my base to work with. And I come over to pile the rocks like this and I have a very anal experience because now I go through and I pick out the reddest of all the rock red and I start to separate all the rocks in color because at first you know you look at a pile of rock and just you just think it's like one color and you look really close and there lots and lots of colors in these piles so my favorite color is this kind of orange color I love this color especially you know th these are like ochre colors Naples yellows you know and then a lot of the rocks also have reds in them you know Sometimes you have to go through a lot of rocks <laughs> in order to find a really nicely colored rock. And then, the other thing I, I look for when I'm doing my rocks, I look for rocks that have character. They're not all like, I, I, I hate perfect things. I like things that are really look like nature did it. They have interesting edges and textures. You'll never look at a rock the same after this. <laughs> but kind of like a painter has a palette with paint, this is my palette. My palette is different kinds of rocks, different shaped rocks, different colored glass. You know, this is a messy bucket. Um, I have to go through this and pick out the glass that works for me and, and happen to be the... I love all these aqua colors because I'm kind of doing a little water area. And this piece will, when I'm done, will actually have uh, water elements to it. In other words, it'll be like a pond, little pond. We have some of the shells, the nautilus, the fossils. We have a lot of different material here to play with. But each material is so special in its own way. Like these crystals. So these are called, uh, what do they call these? Uh, snow caps. So I'm using the snow caps because they are closest to what water looks like with a little bit of wa water. To see what I'm doing, part of it is I have to look and see how it's going to fit. And then I have to make my decision. See, I don't want anything that I do to look like a we weapon. You know? Sometimes we, we weapons come out of our subconscious. We were like warriors. So we'd like make, sometimes make things, but I, I'm not a weapon kind of guy. I'm really more into the... Uh, connection to earth 
So I, I, I want to arrange these in a way where they feel very natural and very inviting to the touch. Anyway, I was showing you how I make it. But part of making it sometimes is breaking it. Um, sometimes you do things and they just don't look quite right. And this is one of the sections. So I really like the orange rock here, but I feel like there's a little too much. So what, what I've been working on today is kind of that connection to that umbilical cord and water and all that. And you move through the piece, and there's freedom, and there's female parts, and, and now I'm in this section, and it's really weird, but it starts to feel like a womb, kind of like a place where we've once been, and um, I need to give the reverence and the detail to this very, very, very special spot. I, I like to paint uh, pictures, and most of my pictures are like autobiographical. And, um, you know, in other words, kind of like the Japanese poets that were having affairs with the kings and queens, and they had to disguise their poetry and talk about other things. Well, even though I'm talking about myself and my paintings, what I'm experiencing, I cloak it with a bull, that's really my passion, and I cloak it with a woman, which is really my desire. And in this painting, for instance, I have my passion and my desire in a dance. And, and they're celebrating, in this particular piece, their freedom, a kind of freedom that I experienced when I was released from a burden that I could no longer bear. And it felt, I felt free and, you know, I, 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 I captured it, I tried to capture it. I, I captured it in this painting with the dancing bull, the untamed beast that I am. There's no sense trying to tame it. It's just accepting it and working with it. There's room for every tree in the forest, even the beast. Come with me, come with me. Come, come.
And uh, like I said, I can't take this and bring it to your house. But if you'd love, like something like this, a park, a place, I can see this kind of sculpture being made by many people. I can organize it. And please support me in my dream. I would love to do more of this kind of sculpture. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.